As of, uh, this is Lazyboard and welcome to today's video guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the best Technomancer builds that's going to have you almost one-shotting everything that gets in your way. Whether it be elites, whether it be regular ads, you're going to pretty much have the one-shot potential in your hands. So you want to know how you're going to be able to do this? Definitely a like would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to drop in the comment, who's your favorite Outrider to play with? Pyromancer, Technomancer, Devastator, or Trickster in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. If you enjoy shooters as much as we do, then this is the best place you need to be in, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys won't miss any shooter content. If you want to show a little bit more love and support, do consider becoming part of the Bold Nation. Link is down below. It does help us out quite a lot on the channel. We have great things coming your way. So I want to show some love make sure you hit that join button down below so this primarily build guys is going to focus on three primary things number one is doing the most amount of damage you could possibly do with your weapon by getting crit shots at number two you're going to be focusing on being able to get your health back by applying toxin that's going to allow you to give you that survivability now this build in particular guys it's not super tanky it is a little bit squishy but if you know how to play correctly this build will have you blazing through any type of content fast effective and easy because you're going to be melting everything that gets in your way you guys are seeing the gameplay we are we are doing crazy amount of damage here whatever comes our way whether it be eye of the storm whether it be a ct15 whatever it is as long as you play it correctly you guys should be good to go so the way you want to play with this particular build guys is you want to be keep yourselves a distance with the enemy and you want to make sure you're always constantly applying toxin to the enemy that is the main focal point of the build. So I'm going to let a little bit of gameplay play out so you guys can get a better idea of how this plays out. I'm going to play little clips of different missions that we did so you guys can understand how we're playing with the build. And then I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do to put this build together. But one thing I want to let you guys know, I am not using any legendary armor. Everything is purple that I'm using that is my main weapon and also armor. The only thing is do we do have some mods that are part of legendary armor. But that still shouldn't deter you from putting this build together. It's super easy, super fun. So enjoy a little bit of gameplay and I'm going to catch you guys in the tail end. Alright, so as you guys see, guys, this thing melts things like butter, guys. It is crazy, crazy good. And you guys are seeing right there the most effective thing here. Almost everything is kind of instantly dying. So that's what makes it really, really good. So what do we need to do to put this build together? Let's take a look at our character and find out what that is. So as our primary weapon, guys, we are running this, which is the Earthborn Renegade. Now, this is assault rifle. There was a way prior to the game uh, being patched and everything, a way of actually just getting these over and over and over. So... Currently right now that there that way is no longer effective But what you want to look for is you want to look for a assault rifle that has this particular mod Which is called the grave diggers frenzy. This is an extremely mod and the requirement mug that you want to use for this particular build Basically what this does is critical shots increase your critical damage by 50% for five seconds You're gonna be able to stack this up every 10 seconds So it is crazy crazy good especially when melting bosses or killing different enemies it becomes really important as long as you're critting. Now, another thing we're doing here is, guys, we're running Dark Sacrifice. This is what makes this build a little bit more kind of on the edge of not super tanky because you're constantly draining your health every single time uh, you are shooting your weapon. But in a return to that, you're giving a 75% weapon damage. Now, I will have a separate build from this one because this is like to make do a lot of damage. I'm going to have a separate build that's going to kind of tie the two in together and give you survivability as well. But this is just to make sure you, you output a ton of damage, guys. It's, it's crazy, crazy numbers. Depending on the expedition you're doing, you could hit up to 400 million damage easily with this build. So do keep that in mind. All right, so that, that's what we're using for weapon. Our secondary weapon, we are running a dead shield. This is not required. 
we have Fortress on here and Moaning Winds only in case we get in the trouble and there's a lot of enemies around us and we just want to get rid of them really fast. Shoot once, reload, boom, dead, automatic. So, and then you go back to using your weapon. The only problem is that when you do that, you will lose one of the main perks of this build, which is the Blighted Round. So, moving along. Now, for our helmet, guys, we are running everything bonus firepower, long range damage, and close range damage. That is what we're running on every single piece of gear. And that is definitely a requirement. This is going to allow you to make sure you get extra damage. You're able to shoot enemies that close and get that 10%. And you have that long range damage as well. Mods here we're running is Kingslayer. Critical hits on elites. Increase your firepower by 32k for 6 seconds. Once again, trying to get as much as we can in crit. We're running, we're running crit stack. Critical shots build up to 5 second stack. Effect grants you 4k anomaly power and 7k firepower bonus. Stacks up to 5 times really important there as well for our chest piece guys we are once again bonus firepower long range damage closer range damage here we're running bloodlust killing shots increase your firepower by 17k stacks up to three times so that's times every time you kill that's going to be stacking up as well and we're running radical therapy deals 15 percent more damage against enemies afflicted by toxic basically everybody's going to be afflicted by toxic because you are running blinded by the bullets and we're also running the turrets as well next up we are going to be running spare mag Blighted rounds, the skill is effective for one additional magazine, so allowing you to keep your bullets always active. And we went ahead and put Captain Hunt in here, which is going to increase your damage against elites. Moving along with the gloves, we're running Ithanizer. It's going to deal 25% more damage against enemies afflicted by Toxic. And we're wanting Toxic Lead, which killing shots on an enemy afflict with Toxic replenish 40% of your ammo. So not only are we getting more additional ammo by being able to use the Spare Mag, but we're also getting more, more ammo by doing the Toxic Lead, so we're getting our ammo back and replenishing, allowing us to keep our blighted rounds active. In addition to that, guys, for the boots, we're running Sharp Eye. Killing enemies while uh, aiming down sights grants you 16K, 16K firepower for 20 seconds. So you always want to make sure you're constantly aiming. And we put Dum Dum Bullets in here, which is going to increase our assault rifle damage by 10%. Since we are using an assault rifle, that is what we're going for. Now, for skill-wise, guys, once again, we're running blighted rounds. It's extremely important that you keep these up, as you guys saw in the gameplay. We're constantly keeping this up. It's not going down. As long as we're getting those crit shots and we're killing enemies, this is going to stay pre predominant throughout the whole expedition or throughout the whole Eye of the Storm. It does have a long cooldown, as you guys see right here, 57. But if you're playing this right, you're never going to be running out of blighted rounds. We're running Cold Snap. The reason why we're running Cold Snap is because anytime we get in danger, enemies get up close, we're going to be able to do that freeze. And you guys saw in the uh, clips I was showing you guys, I was letting enemies get close to me so you guys can see how that works. So you guys can get a better idea of what we were doing here. Also, remember, don't forget, you could melee and freeze people as well. So you do have that at your advantage as well. Then we have Blighted Turrets. The reason why we're going to be using this one is because this particular turret is going to allow us to put a lot of toxin. And remember, the toxin is giving us our health back. So not only are we applying toxin with our bullets, but we have another item that applies toxin. That means our health is going to be coming back as well. Then let's go over to the class. So for the class tree, guys, super simple. The way we're running this is we're running and picking up uh, weapon damage by 8%. We're going to increase more weapon leech by 5%. We're getting increased armor piercing by 10%. We're getting increased critical damage by 15%. We're picking this explosive toxin. So every time toxin is afflicted on enemy, vulnerable status effect is inflicted as well, making the enemy very, very soft. So you could go ahead and kind of just kill him in one shot, as you guys saw him right there. We're putting Vulnerable Afflicted on enemies is 40% more effective, so that means more vulnerability happening there. We have decreased the distance considered to be long distance range by 3 meters, so just giving you a little bit of boost right there. We have increased your weapon damage by 8%. We have decreased the distance considered long, once again, and enemies afflicted with toxin receive 10 more percent more damage. Increased weapon damage. We're picking up this one, which is the Assault Master. Increase your assault weapon damage by 20%, plus the 10% we picked up, remember, from one of the mods. And which is really powerful. Once again, 12% more on assault rifle. Armor piercing 10%. We have two sided of power. Increased damage received from all sources by 15% and dealt by 20%. Picking up another one, long range damage increased by 30%. Increase your anomaly power by 4%. Increased magazine size by 50%. So our, our gun's gonna have a ton more damage, more bullets, and allowing us to keep that, you know, pretty much blighted rounds as active as we possibly can. Enemies afflicted with toxic receive 50% more damage. And last but not least, guys, we're running Empower Antenna. Activating the K increases your weapon damage, you and your allies, by 40 seconds. So not only are you going to be able to get more damage, 
but you're also going to be able to do more damage with your teammates if they're playing with you. So there's a really good solo build, guys. Sometimes when you're running wider rounds with the team, it's hard to keep those rounds up, but with the amount of bullets we have in our gun, we should be good to even play it in a multiplayer match. So really effective, and that is the cold build together. So how exactly do you want to play this, guys? It's super easy. You're going to want to make sure you pop in your wider rounds. Once those are active, start shooting, getting crits. If you guys see that your health is going down, or if you just want to make sure you're always maintaining your health, drop down your turret, and boom, bada, bing, you're there. If someone gets close, melee them, or go ahead and bust a cold snap, and then switch to your weapon, shoot once, reload, and boom, there, everybody is completely dead, and that is how you play with this particular build. I hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel. If you are doing the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. Let me know what character build you want to see next in the comment section, and though we still haven't done one for the Trickster, would you like to see another Techno Devastator or Pyromancer build? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to show some love and support by dropping a like, dropping a comment, but most importantly, subscribing to the channel, turning on all your notifications, and show us more love if you guys want to go ahead and hit us with that support by hitting that join button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.